Hello, my name is Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to a special edition of the FCAT South County Spotlight. One popular institution here in the town of Sunderland is the Sunderland Public Library. And on the day of April 27th, 2024, this institution, which has contributed immensely to the lives of many Sunderland residents and surrounding communities, celebrated its 20th anniversary. While this particular Sunderland Public Library building may only be 20 years old, it's an important part of Sunderland history that spans back to 1794. The history of libraries in Sunderland began in 1794 with a social library consisting of trustees who maintained a collection of books for subscribers to enjoy. Subscribers would pay a fee to borrow books from this collection. The location of the library changed frequently throughout the years, as it was in the rooms of various trustees' homes and businesses. In 1853, the Sutherland Library became a free library, thus eliminating the subscription fee. And then, in 1869, the library moved into a permanent location in the Sunderland Town Office Building. This town office building still exists as of 2024, and today is the location of the popular Blue Herring Restaurant. By 1896, the library was outgrowing its space in the town office building, and the town saw the need to construct a new library building, and thus began raising money to do so. Word of this ambition reached the ears of a Boston businessman named John L. Graves. Graves was a man who grew up in Sunderland and was now a highly successful businessman who specialized in importing antiquities and artwork from overseas. It's worth noting that Graves' family was very involved with the original Sunderland Social Library. Wanting to help his beloved hometown out, John Graves generously footed the bill for Sunderland's new library. The Graves Memorial Library, which John Graves had named after his parents, began being constructed in January of 1900. Construction of this beautiful addition to the town was completed in December of 1901, and in January of 1902, it was opened to the town of Sunderland. For the next 100 years, the Graves Memorial Library would proudly serve the town of Sunderland. However, though, there was one issue with the building. When John Graves donated his money, he had it requested in rules put in place that the Sunderland Public Library not be altered, or in his words, that no changes of any kind either in the interior or exterior of this building shall ever be made, except such as may be required by needed repairs. While John Graves' intentions meant well in the early 1900s, he did not foresee changes that would come about in the decades to follow. Almost a hundred years later, Graves' generous gift to his beloved hometown had unintentionally become outdated. With the library's growing collection of books and growing population throughout the 20th century, it was becoming too small for its community. In addition, the building also could not be updated in the 1990s to be ADA compliant, which caused the library multiple issues. By the 1990s, as the building was pretty much outdated and could not be modified, the town of Sunderland formed a library committee to explore the possibility of a new library. In 2001, after much research and planning, the town voted at a special town meeting to approve funds for a new library. In March of 2003, construction commenced on the new Sunderland Public Library, and approximately one year later, it was completed. On the day of April 25th, 2004, the new Sunderland Public Library was officially open to the public with a ribbon-cutting ceremony and open house. For the next 20 years, Sunderland's new library would proudly serve the Sunderland community and surrounding towns in a number of ways, with its collection of books, children's activities, and numerous different community programs. On the day of April 27th, 2024, this 20-year legacy was proudly celebrated by the library with a special 20th anniversary birthday party. The celebration unofficially began in the early morning hours at 10 a.m. 
with an open house of the former Graves Memorial Library, which today serves as the Town Historical Society. The official celebration for the Sunderland Library began at noon and took place in the Sunderland Library's common room. The celebration featured several remarks from key people involved with the Sunderland Library and its construction, and of course, an assortment of birthday cake cooked up by a local bakery named the Carefree Cakery. Opening remarks were given by Catherine Umstadt who is the current library director. Thank you guys so much for being here to help us celebrate the library. Um, Sunderland Public Library is so special to me, but I really feel like it is so special to this whole community. Um, it's when I you know, first started working here, before I first started working here, I um, wasn't actually looking for a job, but when I heard it was open, they were looking for a director, I kind of jumped at the chance. Um, just because I knew what an amazing place this was. Um, I had, you know, heard incredible things that you guys have the best programs. Sunderland has the best director. Sunderland has the best trustees. Sunderland has the best supportive friends. Sunderland has the best staff and Sunderland has the best community in general. Um, I just have to agree. Um, this is truly a really special place. Um, the library would not be what it is without this building, um, for one. It, the space has really allowed us to open up and offer what we do. Um, this library would not be what it is without the staff. We have the most incredible, hardworking, dedicated staff, so thank you to all of them for all that they do. Um, the Board of Library Trustees is probably the most supportive trustees board I have ever worked with or known of. Um, so thank you to all the trustees, not just current, but past as well. Um, it's incredible to see um, so many of you here tonight um, and supporting us. And then I also um, just want to thank uh, the friends of the library, truly the best friends in the entire world. Um, every library director I know is always green with envy anytime the topic of the Friends of Sunderland Public Library comes up because they are truly hardworking, dedicated, and just supportive. Um, so thank you so much, and thank you to Sunderland Public Library. Additional remarks were also given by Justine Rosewarn chair of the Board of Library Trustees, Lauren Starr, who has been a trustee since 1996, and a person who was extremely instrumental in seeing the new Sunderland Public Library become a reality, and Peter Gagarin, a member of the original building committee, who was also extremely instrumental in seeing the new building get built. The session wrapped up with State Representative Natalie Blay, who offered some very passionate closing remarks. We are, we're just, when I, when I think about this place, we're very, very lucky. We're, we're very, very lucky. Um, but it is the result of a lot of, of hard work uh, and a lot of dedicated people who give of themselves to make this place what it is. Uh, so I do want to thank you know, the trustees for everything you do, the friends, special place in my heart. Um, and certainly, Catherine, you are one of the best things that ever happened to this place, and you've fostered and supported an incredible team here. Uh, and, and so thank you. Uh, Lauren, you talked about the next 100 years. You know, I really look forward you know, to the next 80 years and beyond, uh, because this library will be here not only for this generation, but for generations to come. So happy birthday to the Sunderland Public Library. Following the speeches, the cake was then cut and served to library patrons. Overall, it was a wonderful celebration, which not only paid tribute to the library's 20-year legacy, but also looked forward to its future.